Breathe. <coughs> Long and slow. <coughs> Don't force it. <coughs> Relax. Open a goddamn window, will ya? Pop. I need some air. <coughs> it's freezing. And there's plenty of air. God, they gotta warm this place up. Otherwise, that lawyer's gonna accuse me of elder abuse. You are abusing me. <laughs> you take my cigarettes and you oh, give me an fuck. inhaler, and you take my Jack and Coke and you stick me with this crap beer. What's next? Gonna push me down the stairs? As soon as I figure out a way to make it look like an accident, that's where you're headed, Pop. Give me another beer. <laughs> be a good boy and finish that one. They'll be here any second. <laughs> and use your inhaler for crying out loud. You sound like a dirty carburetor. I'm not too old to still make you mind me. Would you just take a puff? It's got steroids. They're here. No, 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 keep that on. It looks good. My man Johnny. Sup? Hey, Brian. August, how you feeling? Same way I felt last time we were in court. Like a winner. Well, nobody's won yet. <laughs> Gentlemen, good to see you. Uh, good morning, Ms. Pullman. Uh, can I get you anything? What, is he kidding me? That's OK, Mr. Helms. You relax. I'm not deaf, Ms. Pullman. Can we just, uh, you know... Very well. <clears throat> You've heard it all before. It is my job to make you hear it all again before we proceed. Two years ago, Johnny, your wife Susan... My daughter. Your wife Susan passed away from the flesh-eating disease at the Lighthouse Hospice. You were the only person present at the time of her death. 
That's because you were home drunk and crying, and you were in the parking lot stoned and sleeping. I was not sleeping. People, <laughs> please, Johnny, according to your sworn testimony, for you and your wife's verbal agreement as part of the hospice's active dying program. You captured her final breath in this, a heat-resistant box. You made yourself from a space-age polymer at your industrial plastics design firm. That's the only thing that's left of her. And we agreed that I would preserve it forever in her memory and as a tribute to our love. Her breath, my box. It's the closest we were ever going to come to having a child. Right. But you, Mr. Helms, father, Susan, tell a different story. He's a womanizing, philandering cheater. I was never a cheater. Hell, you weren't. I loved Susan. I saw him. I saw you with that secretary at that bar. Oh, and Susan told me herself before she got sick that she was thinking of filing for divorce because she suspected you of having an affair. This whole breath box is just a marketing ploy he's come up with to sell this thing to every bereaved family from here to Baghdad. Ploy? How dare you call this come a ploy? Come on, come on! Boys, folks, I am your court-appointed arbitrator. I'm not here to advocate, only to facilitate. I think you all need your to settle down. Your money-grubbing son here is the one who's done, what is it, Brian, uh, three talk shows alone this month to raise money for your so-called legal defense fund? I need that money. Pop needs the money. Forget the money. Ploy or no ploy, now that you've captured it, my daughter's breath belongs to me. I want that box. Yeah. We're a true family. Her breath belongs with us. Well, um, I'm her husband, and she gave it to me of her own free will. That is her spirit. It's not her spirit. It's her voice. Her lips. Neither voice nor lips. Her little soft kisses? No. Where were you when she was born, Joe? Oh, here we go. Huh? I was there. I goddamn delivered that child myself. On my own living room floor. Push, push, breathe, breathe. That's what I told her mother. Just like on TV, I told her. And it worked. Out my baby popped. I hit her once on the backside and she started screaming like a banshee. <laughs> that's my Susan. And that's my breath. I own it. I created it, not you. Yeah. And I, I taught her how to whistle when she was seven. Okay, fellas, men, how many breaths does an average person take in a single day in an entire life? Millions, billions, I mean really it's trivia. It's a single breath and ownership of breath is impossible. It's an absurd proposition on all of your parts. My advice to you is just let her out of the box and set this silly feud free. Let it dissipate into so many molecules. It'd be as simple as just pulling out a cork. Oh my God, this is a nice crusty bottom. Sort of scuffed, is that intentional? Yeah, I just forgot about the box, don't open it. Yeah, I um, wanted it to have texture. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But to feel like something real. But Johnny, it isn't real. It's an object, it isn't your wife. Wake up. And it's not your sister, Brian. And it's not your daughter, Mr. Helms. And the sooner you stop objectifying this woman and turning her into a plastic box full of carbon dioxide, the better off you'll be. Ah! Brian, be careful, don't break the seal. It's not plastic. And it's not molecules, Miss P. And if that's all you see, then we've picked the wrong arbitrator. Maybe we should just go back to court let a judge decide.
All I'm trying to do is encourage you to think outside the box as part of my job. Why don't the three of you pick a pretty setting? Her favorite spot somewhere. Put your heads together, open the box, and release her. Be the same as pulling the plug if she were brain dead in an ICU somewhere with no chance of recovery. Oh my God. You're not getting her back. Box or no box, all you've really got are your memories of her. Let that be enough. That box was my wife's final desire. So it represents plenty. It means everything. That was our final project together. Don't believe this guy. If it was so important to her, why didn't either of you ever write anything down about it? That's a really good question, Johnny. Because this was not an affair of business. This was an affair of our hearts. And, and a written document would have just ruined that sentiment. Susan was the least sentimental person in the world. She never would have gone for something like this. It's a scheme, I tell you. Then why do you want to own her breath so bad, huh? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. to this world. Hmm. And I can help send her out of it. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 